Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio tip. And today we are uh, April 16th, 2019. And today's shortwave radio tip has to do with a feature that some receivers have that can help you listen to shortwave and to some types of signals a little better. And it's synchronous detection. What's that? Um, not a lot of receivers have it, but the ones that do not always have it well. But there are a few versions and a few receivers that actually have it well. For example, here I've got the Texan PL680. Um, the sync detection is actually really good on this one. Uh, the Sony ICF7600 is another example of really, really good sync detection. And um, basically, why and how do you use sync detection? So one of the first things that often is a little... Uh, difficult to understand for people that have sync detection is that often you have upper lower sideband and people think that sync detection is for single sideband signals and it's not made for single sideband signals. Sync detection is made for AM signals. It's made for listening to international broadcasts. Now you might think why does it say upper lower sideband then? Here's the thing. A sync detection or a synchronous detection what it does is that it replaces so an AM signal when you're listening to Radio Romania for example well you're in AM mode because the signal that you receive has a carrier which is what you measure when there is no audio but you do detect that there's a signal there with nothing on it that's the carrier that's what you see peak on your S meter often at the times the carrier has sidebands on each side this is what constructs basically an AM signal. So the voice you hear is um, half, you know, like half of it is on the lower part of that carrier, half of it is on the upper part of that carrier. Together they create what is your AM signal you're listening to. Now, when propagation sometimes isn't that great, when there's a lot of fading, what happens with the uh, AM signal is that it distorts because sometimes both sidebands on the carrier signal uh, might be uh, not synchronized correctly or one might fade the other, one, the other one not and the mix of all of that creates what you have sometimes when you have fades and you notice that the audio gets distorted somewhat. Well sync detection is to help in those situations. If there's a lot of fades, rapid fades, you are trying to get a clearer signal, the sync detector will remove the carrier from the station. It will actually lock on it doesn't remove it really but it will lock and zero in on that carrier and will replace it with a internal carrier that the receiver itself is creating so it's synchronous detector because it actually will actually look at the signal the carrier and I, it will actually lock on that signal so that's why a good sync detector is important because it can lose its lock sometimes and bad sync detection often does that. Uh, you have the DGEN DE1106 here, for example. It loses lock on the carrier all the time. It's not very good at that job. This one, pretty surprising. So what does it do? Well, because of the fade-in and fade-out, the carrier created by the radio itself is very stable. It doesn't fade out because it's created internally by the radio. That means that that replacement of a carrier by something more stable will help very often in making that signal clearer and easier to understand in some cases. Why do we have upper lower sideband available there? Because sometimes you want to lock in on one side only of the carrier. By removing both sides, sometimes it lowers distortion. So you listen to one side only. By also being able to select which one you're going to listen to, if you have a station very, very close and that it doesn't, um, you know, it interferes with the signal you're listening in if it's on the bottom part of the carrier. So say you're listening to, once again, let's give an example of um, Romania on 6,040 killer. Say you got interference from um, Marti on 6030 that sometimes is so strong that you can sometimes maybe interfere a little bit. Well, you have the choice of getting the synchronous detection on the upper sideband so you're looking away from that signal that's on the bot that's below it which means you'll remove that interference that comes from signals that are lower 
and the reverse if the signal, the interfering signal, say, is on 6045, well, you'll use the lower sideband of the sync detection. Like that, you're moving away from that signal that's higher in frequency. So you'll have clearer uh, signal and less interference from these. And last but not least, if you don't have sync detection, all is not lost. It doesn't have the same value, not necessarily works in it as well, but you still can use this trick by putting your radio in single sideband. And if you have upper lower sideband capability, like this one has upper and lower separate upper lower sideband, you can zero in on that signal and still use the trick uh, upper or lower sideband on an AM signal to remove interference from what's happening on each side. It's not like a sync detection. It won't work as well as a sync detector, but it might help in some cases in uh, getting a better signal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hope you enjoy our little radio tips.